morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today's Thursday, January 28th, 2021. And Flame, before we get going and learn a little bit more about your friend, let's take a moment to pause, put our hand on our heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now pause for the moment of silence. Thanks, dragons and flame. The sun is going to rise today at 7.18 in the morning, and it's going to set at 526, which is very appropriate information for your friend today. And you might remember that a few weeks ago, Dragons, we said we'd have a chain of friends that Flame has, starting with a small friend, the Vole. We talked about the Vole three weeks ago. And then two weeks ago, we talked about the Hawk. Last week, we talked about inauguration, which is a little different subject. But today, we're going to talk about white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer, Flame. And... White-tailed deer are very populous here in Virginia, which we'll get into in a moment, but white-tailed deer are found all over the southern part of Canada and throughout the United States. And you might actually have an experience, dragons, from watching or seeing white-tailed deer in the area or maybe out in the forest or in different pictures, but we want to know if you know as much about white-tailed deer as Flame knows about white-tailed deer. So let's see here. White-tailed deer, dragons. Do you think white-tailed deer are herbivores, which means they eat only plants? Do you think they're carnivores, which means they eat only meat? Or do you think they're omnivores, which means they eat both? We know Flame knows the answer. I bet you got this one right. They are herbivores. They are vegetarians. They only eat plants and maybe some different shrubs, but not meat eaters at all. So because of that, white-tailed deer, do you think that they are predators, which means they are on the hunt? Do you think they are prey, which means they are being hunted? Or do you think they are both, which means that they hunt and other animals hunt them? That's right. They are prey. Because they are herbivores, they are prey. And they have a lot of predators that are after them. Around here, there might be some bobcats, or even some bears if they get hungry enough, uh, humans, so we've got to be careful about that. White-tailed deer, are we least concerned about their population, which means that there are a lot of them? Are they being threatened, which means that their numbers are going down quickly, or are they endangered, which means that there are only a few of them remaining in the world? That's right. They are least concerned. But interestingly enough, dragons, there are many types of deer. We're focusing on white-tailed deer today. And certain species of deer are endangered. But not white-tailed deer. Don't worry. They are least concerned about their population. All right. There are three senses here, dragons. Which one is not good with white-tailed deer? So white-tailed deer have good two of these, but not one of them. Okay. So they have a poor sense of smell they have poor vision, or they have poor hearing. Okay, which one of these do you think it is? It is poor sense of smell. White-tailed deer have great vision, and they have really, really good hearing. And I don't know if you've ever gotten a chance to see a deer, not maybe close, but from a certain distance, they can wiggle their ears because their hearing is so sensitive. And one more bonus question for you, dragons. Which one of these things can white-tailed deer do really well? Can white-tailed deer climb really well? Can white-tailed deer dig really well? Can white-tailed deer swim really well? I don't even know if you know this one, Flame. Oh yeah, you do, how about that? White-tailed deer can swim really well. Who knew? They're excellent swimmers and it's one of their main ways that they can get away from predators because there are so many predators. There are right now, Flame, just under 900,000 white-tailed deer in Virginia alone. They're also very communal animals, 
Sometimes they wander and move about in solitude or by themselves, but you will often find deer in at least groups of two and often more when there's a mother and the fawns, right? Or even the males and the females. And the male, male white-tailed deer have antlers. They lose their antlers every now and then, and then they might grow new antlers back. But white-tailed deer are very fast. They're very agile. We learn about them being able to swim. And one of the things that we said in the beginning of the show is you're the, the best chance to find white-tailed deer is at sunrise and not birthday box and at sunset. That's when they do their most feeding is right when the sun rises and when the sun sets. So if you're out and about, even in these winter months, because they are out in winter and in the fall or in the spring, see if you can find white-tailed deer around you. A friend of flame and a friend to all of us. Dun -dun -dun! It's time for the birthday box. Birthday's flame. Feeling good about a birthday today. Let's see. We've got... We do. We have one birthday today. And it's Jasmine Bangora in Miss Santos' class in kindergarten. Happy birthday, Jasmine. We hope it is an excellent birthday for you. Mail time. The mailbox is here. The mailbox is full. The mailbox has two letters. Let's see here. Dear Flame, how are you? I am doing fine. I just can't believe we're in the third quarter now. We have worked our way together during this hard time. I was wondering, what is your favorite indoor game? I can't choose. I like all the games indoors. Some of them are cards, like Rummy Cube or Sequence or Chess and Checkers and Monopoly. I wonder if you like any of those games that I like. Well, we love Sequence and Chess and Checkers. We use that phrase a lot. Like Some of us are playing chess, some of us are playing checkers. And Monopoly is really fun, but you really have to take your time if you want to win. I also have a riddle for you. What weighs more, a pound of feathers or a pound of iron? A pound of iron or a pound of feathers? Hmm. I guess it, well, oh yeah, that's, that's a good point. They weigh the same. They're both a pound. It's very clever, Anika. Very clever. We're very glad you sent that to us. Uh, we love that mail and please keep it coming. Excellent riddle and excellent choice of indoor games. We'll have to see if we can find some other ones besides board games. We like to play in the house quite a bit. And look at this, dragons. A real letter with a stamp. That's always the best kind. Let's see here. Ooh. Fancy. Look at that. Look at that fancy sketch. That is really cool. Let's see. It says, Dear Flame, can we do Giant Map Day once a week? Well, I think it was up to Mr. Slayer we do Giant Map Day every day. But it's really, a, it's really about Flame and if he's using the Giant Map. But yes, yes, great idea. More Giant Map, please. One of my goals is to earn enough money to help around the house to buy a scooter. What is F Flame's top favorite food? Your friend Reese Willett. And he drew a Giant Map. That is so cool. That is really cool. And he drew some other figures that are up here and helping out around the house. Wow. Well, we hope you get that scooter for helping out around the house. That's always fun whenever we help others. Right, Flame? And that's a good point, Flame. So we have talked about whenever people are struggling or whenever people are sad or when they need us the most in supporting others. You know, we often think that it's if someone is sad, how can we help? How can we listen? Which is great. But also around the house. You think of all the different chores and all the different stuff that has to happen in order for a house to be maintained. And that's our question of the day, dragons. What can you do to support others in your own home? In the places that you live and the places that you play the most around, like these indoor games that Anika was talking about. And when Reese is trying to help out around the house to get his scooter, what can you do to make your home environment and your ecosystem a better place for everyone? So, on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Salerno. We hope you have a wonderful Thursday today, dragons. And who knows, maybe you'll go see a deer. You never know. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.